Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Rathinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn the use of class annotation. We have two types of class annotation, before class and after class. It is similar to method annotation which we have learnt in previous video with little bit modification. Please click on subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell symbol to get notified about new videos. Thank you. This is the book definition. Let me explain this definition with an example so that you will get more clarity. In the previous video, we have learned the before method will be executed before all the test method and the after method will be executed after all the test method. That is the launch application and the close application will be executed three times for each test method. It will be great just glance that video one so that understanding the class method will be more easier. The same example I am little bit modifying. If we implement before class to the launch application and after class to the close application, what will happen? The launch application will be executed only once before all these three test method. So the execution will be first the launch application and then the test application. Either it will be executed in the alphabetical order, if not based on the priority we mentioned. Once all these three methods are completed, finally close application will be executed. In method annotation, launch application and close application will be executed three times. In class annotation, it will be executed only one time. Now see the definition before class annotation will run before the first test method only in the current class invoked. Whichever the class you are calling that class alone, it will be executed. And after class annotation will run after all the test methods is completed. Hope you got an idea. The same example, let me show it practically. As usual, first we'll show the method implementation execution and then after adding the Selenium code, we'll show an another execution. Once we open the Eclipse under VRS Guidance Java project, we have the package called TestNG Programs. In this, right click, create a new TestNG class. Give the class name as VRS Guidance and XML file name as VRS Guidance.xml. Click on Finish. The class file is created. You know how to create the methods. First, we will create all the five methods. Once we create that, then we will implement the annotations. First, how to create the method public void method name launch application. We have created the method printing the output message. Same way, create the rest of the methods. We have created five method as per our requirement, launch application, close application, navigate contact as page, navigate course fee, then navigate request demo. Now we will include the annotation. We are going to make the launch application as at before class. It is showing the warning message, import the before class library files. Then close application we have to make it as at after class just import all the required files now we want to make these three method as test annotation and also based on priority at test this needs to be executed first priority equal to one same way second one as priority equal to two and third one as priority equal to three. Three method we made it as test annotation and priority one, two, three. So based on this sequence, it will be executed. Now run as test ng test. The execution is completed. The launch application is executed before all the three test method. Once launch application is completed, navigate contact as navigate course fee and navigate request page is executed after that after class annotation is executed hope you understood the concept of class annotation now the same example let me directly show with the selenium code i have implemented selenium code i made the web driver as a common that's why public static web driver and driver object so that we can use this particular object wherever we want then before class which is used to launch the application driver path is mentioned 
creating a new object for Chrome driver. This will launch it, then maximizing it. Finally, it is navigating to vinotharasguidance.com. After this, it will click on contact us page, then course fee page, then request demo page. Once these three test method is completed, it will close the application. This is a Selenium coding. If you want to learn about Selenium, you just uh, glance the playlist which I have created. Now we'll execute run as test ng test. Application launched, maximized, navigated to the URL. Now it is clicking on contact us page. Then it is clicking on course fee. The page is loaded. After that, it is clicking on request demo link. Finally, the application is closed. We'll see the results file. Launch, application, contact us, course fee, request demo, and finally the application is closed. A small recap what we have learned today. The before class and the after class annotation will be executed only once. So whenever there is an end-to-end -end scenario, it is always a best practice we can use before class and after class. Even we can include the prerequisite for each end-to-end -end scenario using before class. That will avoid the data issues because we are going to create a new set of data for every new execution. That's the end of today's session. In case of any clarification, please post your queries in the comments or mail me. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.